business meetings, the video is probably more important because you're, you know, looking at people's faces and stuff. If there's a not perfect connection for an online music lesson, we optimize the audio over the, we prioritize the audio over the video. So if, say your the student has a really bad connection, you will start to see a degraded video quality before you start to hear a degraded audio quality. When you're teaching a lesson on, on most online platforms, the biggest frustration is the fact that when I try and speak to my student while they're playing, they, the, most of the time they can't hear me at all. So I, I, I don't speak to them. I have to like wave my hands to get them to get out of, you know, they're in the zone trying to play and I just wanna give them one audio cue or one, one, one little note like tempo, tempo or, you know, crescendo through here. Um, and that's often lost to the point to the point where I completely changed my style of teaching for a while there, um, you know, because I couldn't have these nuanced moments with my students What when we're really getting into the music at the right time, right? Like when they're just about to feel that octave jump, I want to be able to tell them support through the octave jump. I don't want to have to wait until he's done playing his whole excerpt and then go back and try and have him or her remember that feeling. Um, so in Forte, we call it full duplex audio. And that's when we're having all the sound going both ways the entire time at a bit rate that is over three times what Zoom can offer. 